Sometimes you can't always make it out to the lake, or you might not have access to a radio-controlled boat like my friends here do. So today I'm going to teach you how to make a really simple recycled boat using simple science. So let's get started. Some things you're going to need to do this experiment include a plastic bottle, like Elise has, and its caps. In these caps, you can actually even use something sharp, maybe even a pen, to create a hole in it for an experiment down the line. Something heavy to hold the boat down once we place it in the water. We're going to use pennies to today, but you can also use marbles or something like screws or anything else you have around the house. You need some vinegar, which actually propels the experiment, and some baking soda, which is necessary as well. So the first thing we're going to need is a piece of toilet paper. You guys, go ahead and grab a piece, lay it up in front of you. Perfect. Scoot that over. And then we're going to take the baking soda. You guys can watch me first, and then it's all you. Just grab a spoonful. You don't really need much more. And make a line right down the center of your piece of toilet paper. It's really important to make sure that this thing, the, we're going to roll this up, and it's really important to smash this down so that it isn't too thick and can't fit inside the bottle. Here you go. I'm sorry, Kyle. You can do the same. And once you're done with that, that looks awesome. You're going to start rolling, and I'm, I call this a paper, toilet paper breadstick. You're just going to roll it just like you would a breadstick. That looks good. Now, do you guys actually know what this experiment is creating between the baking soda and the um, vinegar? Carbon dioxide. Exactly. You're exactly right, Elise. This is creating carbon dioxide, which is actually going to propel our boat. Now, this is a teamwork-oriented sort of experiment. So once you roll yours up, I'm going to ask one of you guys to help me out. That looks great, Elise. All right. I'll help you that in your bottle. Perfect. Now, Alicia's just put her baking soda in the bottle. We're going to add, um, actually, we're going to add, thank you for saying, Elise, we're going to add the pennies to make sure our boat is weighted down. So add a handful. It's never too many. You don't want to sink your boat, but you definitely want to make sure it's going to float. So now that the pennies and the baking soda are in here, we're going to add the vinegar. Now, as soon as the vinegar is on, Elise is going to put her cap on and shake it up. You have a cap with no hole, correct? Yeah. All right. So since you have a cap with no hole, you're going to put it on fairly tight, but not all the way. A little loosely. That looks perfect. Now give it a shake and make sure you put the end, that's the propeller, this way so that I can go. All right. Shake it up. How you doing, Kyle? Good. You got your burrito? All right. Put it in the water. See what it does. Oh, shake it up a little bit more. It's moving slowly but surely. Go ahead and put yours in here. All right. Now add some pennies to weigh it down. How's that doing? There it goes. It's moving. I see it. Not necessarily straight, but it's moving. All right. Now, you can actually take that out and dump that out and start over if you would like, Elise. Um, we just need vinegar. You want to grab your cap? How about you grab one without a hole in it? Or with a hole. I'm sorry. Perfect. All right. Now, Elise, what do you think happened with your boat? It didn't make it go straight? Do you think maybe our pennies could be in the center of our boat to make sure it goes all the way? Yeah. All right. Now you can shake that up, walk over there, shake it up, put it in. Looks awesome. Now Kyle actually used a cap. Oh, I hear it. He used a cap that had a hole in it. And you are able to put that on all the way. Ah, oh, that one went a little bit faster, I'd say. I think I might try it out that way. It's moving. More fast. It is faster, I would agree. Hey, what are you guys doing? We are trying to make our plastic boat bottles move. Oh, how does that science. work? Baking soda and vinegar. Cool. Look at this. You guys going to start moving? I think so. Kyle's went pretty fast. Elise Perfect. is going to try a different tactic and use a cap with a hole in the middle. Oh, cool. This looks like a lot of fun. This is a little bit different than uh, what you guys are used to with it your... It is. You want to see if this one goes? Yeah, let's see. Oh, I hear it. Oh. Oh. Hey, it's going a little it's bit. It's moving a little faster, so it works. Well, you have to definitely try it out Unfortunately, though, this is all the time we have oh. for today. But I want to thank the Black family for introducing us to the Indy Admirals. I also want to thank Ellie and Veronica for teaching me how to set sail in the open waters. If you have a fun boating story, you can always write to us at www.fridayzone.org. And remember, you can download this and all of our other episodes of the Friday Zone for free on iTunes. Remember to live, learn, and play the Friday Zone way. We'll see you here next week. Bye. All right. All right let's let's take this out. out.
production support for the Friday Zone is provided by Smithville, a locally owned business serving Central and Southern Indiana since 1922.